Tech Confidential. I'm Mary Kathleen Flynn, and I'm talking with Kevin Ryan, who is the CEO of Alicorp. And Alicorp is an interesting uh, new model for developing companies. And I'd love to start with just what your vision of Alicorp is and how it works. Yeah. Well, the vision has really evolved because uh, three years ago, Dwight Merriman and I started Alicorp. And so Dwight was the former CTO and founder of DoubleClick. I was the CEO of DoubleClick. So we worked together for almost 10 years now. And we really thought there were some interesting opportunities in the internet space. And so we started two companies right away. One was Panther Express and one was ShopWiki. And we started those companies. Uh, they were independent but shared some resources like finance, accounting, things like that. And then a year later, you know, we started having other ideas that we thought, gosh, there's a big opportunity for this or that. And so in the meantime, now we've started six companies. We start them from scratch. Uh, we share some resources, but we try and keep them as independent as possible to make sure that the entrepreneurs who are working there, who are excited full time, own their own destiny and can be very successful. But it is kind of an incubator. I mean, you're, you're in shared space, you're working with the other entrepreneurs or at least alongside them. What it, give us a feel for what that's like day to day. Well, incubator is a dangerous word because you, you look back in time and there have been so many colossal incubator disasters. I think what Kevin and Dwight have done really is to, to figure out a new way to take their primary skill, which is being entrepreneurs, finding companies, hiring the right people to manage them, and do that in volume so they're not tied to one company over time. And so that model has had lots of challenges. Usually what happens is you take a lot of money from the outside, you're forced to invest it, you invest in a lot of crappy ideas, you get spread too thin and so forth. Kevin with Alicorp has been very disciplined in, in saying here are five companies or six now. And so it's definitely working and it's not, the idea isn't that this is a factory that's gonna crank out a bunch of companies. And I think again, from our perspective, it's some shared services, a nice office that we wouldn't have. And again, some human resources and accounting services that we wouldn't have. But Otherwise, we're completely independent. These aren't companies that you're just investing in. They're actually companies that you own as Alicorp. We own the majority of each company. We start off, uh, we do fund it for the first six months. So Dwight and I do that. Then we bring in an outside investor, a VC firm. Often it's been Matrix or Greylock or another, or Union Square Ventures, uh, one of the leading firms to come in to, to put in money uh, to take it to the next level. And then after that, we'll do a second or a third round or sometimes a debt round. And over the last three years, we've raised a total of about $50 million in outside financing to, to help these companies grow. Let's walk through the uh, half dozen companies that are currently in an Alley Corp. Yeah. So, uh, I mentioned Panther Express, which is a content delivery network. So it's a very technical infrastructure company that serves up the content for media companies, for uh, gaming companies, for anyone who has content or video uh, out there. ShopWiki is a comparison shopping engine. Music Nation is a talent competition online, as well as its own record label. Then uh, we launched uh, Gilt, uh, which is a private members only um, shopping site. We launched AlleyInsider.com, which is a publishing site uh, run by Henry Blodgett that is covering what happens in digital media. And then our newest company, which is launching later this year, is called TenGen, which is a cloud computing company. So it's a very technical infrastructure company that would allow websites to not own any hardware at all, but to use all of this as their back end and just basically rent the services. And I think cloud computing is the future, I think in five, 10 years from now, almost everyone will be using a cloud computing company of some type, hopefully TenGen. What about sharing technology? Um, you use the TenGen platform. Well, Ten, right, so TenGen is another, is the, the newest Alley Corp company. We had struggled with Silicon Alley Insider to find a good technology platform. There are some that are designed for individual bloggers. There are some that are designed for these macro sites like the New York Times. We didn't want to develop it ourselves. Part of that process of struggling to find that actually led to the idea for TenGen. And they saw us struggling and why do you want to manage a data center product and servers and things like that. So we've been the alpha customer even before alpha and sort of have helped them develop the platform. And it's been very helpful. There are a lot of advantages to that. Obviously, there are a lot of things that we can't do being on that, but we're very happy with it so far. It's interesting that TenGen came out of the Alley Corp company's need for new technology. And you see that again and again. I mean, one of the things, one of the driving theories behind an incubator is that as companies run into problems and customer issues, you suddenly have these ideas for a new, pro a new company to address that. Companies need things all the time, and most good businesses are based on serving a need of some sort. So you have this factory that's generating these ideas. But again, the reason a lot of incubators fail is the actual entrepreneurial force behind it. They get spread much too thin. It's very hard to bring in the talent. 
and in this case, there are a, a small handful of companies, so it's worked so far. So what's next? Are you going to launch another company soon? So for the rest of this year, we're really focused on these six companies because we're doing a number of rounds of financing. We're building up management teams. We started this year uh, overall at about 100 people, and we're going to end the year probably much closer to 200 people. So it's growing very, very quickly. Last year, we did about $7 million in revenues among the various companies. This year, it's going to be about $50 million. So focused on that and launching 10Gen. So right now, near the end of this year, we'll start thinking about ideas that we might launch uh, for next year. But we need to strike a balance and make sure that we're not spread too thin. Um, while making sure that our companies are very successful. So the goal is not to have the largest number of companies possible. It's to have you know, a number of successful companies. And when will you know that it's a, a success? What kinds of exits are you looking for? I don't think so much of an exit in, in, in that way. I think of it as a successful company is one that is you know, getting large in terms of revenues and is profitable. Once you have that, then you have a lot of choices. Maybe you decide you don't want to sell it. Uh, maybe you decide you do want to sell it. If it's really big, maybe you go public. But that's a choice you always have when you're doing very, very well. You know, DoubleClick was successful because it made a lot of money. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, getting to that point is a real mark of success and gives you a lot of flexibility. All right, so that's what you're looking for, making a lot of money. <laughs> it's one, it, look, this is very fun, and so I don't want to do anything that I'm not enjoying and is intellectually interesting, and you want it to be financially successful as well. All right, thank you very much, Kevin Ryan, CEO of Alicorp, and thank you for watching Tech Confidential's Behind the Money. I'm Mary Kathleen Flynn.